Hey, this is Dead Bones, and I'm uh, gonna have a tutorial on uh, Netcat. First, open your command prompt. Go to wherever your Netcat folder is. Type in as I do. Netcat dash L dash P, whatever port you want. Dash e cmd dot exe. Okay, this mean is listening to that port. It opened it. Plants a back door. So you gotta start run cmd. It's kind of I want to do it from there. Your IP address. Oops. And then your port that you put it on and then you notice that the command a prompt box pops up um... show both of them so you know it's running for proof you can do whatever you want from here you can you can do you can do this remotely i've tried it before no problem just make sure you get netcat put it in a folder and run the command as i did uh, you can do telnet even instead of cmd.exe Oops. But uh, notice when I do exit, this exited also. It stopped. Yeah, so, I mean, it's really a program. And I also wanted to show you one more thing. I didn't use it just now because uh, I thought it might confuse you because you wouldn't be able to see it. But uh, this here it is. Usually I take the border off and kind of, you can plant it. I'll show you. You can plant it up here. You can dock it. And what I do is I put it in my startup folder. Um, I put it in my startup folder so it's always there, like just right in the middle of my desktop all the time. Because I run a lot of commands. I don't always want to go start run, exit it out. And so I just keep it up here. Glue it to the desktop so it doesn't get in anybody's way. And, well... Um, I'm, I got the right version of Gen 2. I'm just working on the video on my network right now. So, uh, more stuff coming. And, uh, this has been a Dead Bones production. Thanks for watching.